that was a good pushback in the third for sure. Uh, that's kind of what we felt we didn't have last game when we went down. Um, but uh, yeah, too many little mistakes still that um, we got to just stop talking about and do it. Just frustrating to let points slip away. Yeah, yeah, very. What's the message have to be following a game like that? Well, you look at the things, uh, just like everything, you always assess your game. And you have to be honest with yourself uh, individually as a, as a team. Uh, that's what coaches do. And for the players, you look at yourself uh, a little bit individually. You look at what the team can do better. And you have to just be honest with the assessment, win or lose. you got to find a way to keep getting better. And um, again, uh, we gave them some opportunities, even some that didn't score, quite honestly. Um, that, that shouldn't happen um, if we want to have success moving forward. What has to happen to get this turned around? What's that? What has to happen to get this turned around? Yeah, well, I just said it. Like, uh, when I cleaned those uh, things up, like, <laughs> there's a team on the other side trying to do the same thing we are. Uh, every team, every coach, uh, everyone's it's pushing. It's, it's the hardest league. You have to be on top of your game uh, every single night uh, as a team to to have success. Um, again, it was good pushback in a third, guys. Uh, Really wanted it. We're hungry, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think before that, uh, the puck play in the second, puck play in the first, not good enough. Is there anything more you could have done against Samsonov? I mean, we had a lot of shots on that. Felt way that we had traffic uh, a lot of times, but obviously not, probably not enough. We don't, if we only scored two, um, yeah, like uh, that way, I think. Uh, we talked about a lot of little offensive concepts that it felt like we added that uh, a little more this game, uh, but uh, work in progress for sure. Je me sens bien. C'est ça que je veux continuer à améliorer, puis je vais aider l'équipe de plus en plus chaque match. It's a little bit of a step in the right direction. There's some things that we have to clean up, obviously, that we're going to take a look at tomorrow morning, uh, go through that, you know, and uh, it's going to be a new day tomorrow. We can't think well in the past, be, but be pissed off tonight and then and go to work tomorrow. Lots of positives then, obviously, to build off of from this. Yeah, some positives. And uh, there are some things, like I said, we have to clean up. Uh, we're not a, not a perfect team. I don't think any team in this league is perfect. And so there's always time and, and things to adjust and uh, make sure that we're up to snuff with. How do you avoid letting frustration set in when you're going through a stretch like this as a team? Oh, I can only speak for myself. That I've been through worse. You know, and also there's things in life that is bigger and more important than just hockey. One of those things was, you know, last game when we had the cancer awareness night, and you realize once you meet Nasher and other people that go through those sort of things that that is the tough things. Like the things that we are going through is not tough. You know, that's just hockey. It's, it's our daily bread. It's our living. It's what we, you know, thrive and want to be good at. Want to be best at, obviously. But the the real main issues in the world, you know, it's I'm thankful that my kids, so to speak, are. Uh, well, and I never hope that I find myself in the situation that a lot of parents and families around the world are in. And so, yeah, that's why I mean, like, you can be a little bit pissed off today, but at the end of the day, you know, it's going to be a new day tomorrow. It's going to be a new game on Saturday, and look forward for that with excitement. One of these games where you almost deserved a better fate, but not able to get it done. Yeah, and it was close. I mean, uh, give their goalie credit. He made some some big saves at the right time, and Easily could have been tied up there late going to overtime. Dominating performance in the third period. Uh, David was just saying more needed, obviously, in the first 40. Yeah, no, I thought we stuck to it. And uh, we did get our chances and scored on a couple and easily could have scored on a few more. So, no, it was, uh, it's good to build off that, I think. You mentioned quality stops that third goalie made at certain times, but what do you think is keeping us in offensively for what the Blues are trying to do? Yeah, no, I think just for a few guys, just need one to go. Um, and then the, that confidence comes back. And then some nights the goalie's going to make the save like that. Um, and then other nights they're, they're all going to go in. So it's a, it's a game of inches. And uh, like I said, I'll give him credit. He had a good game. What do you think you need to do as a group to get this turned around? Just keep working. Uh, keep believing in each other. You can't get down. I mean, it's only 19 games in the season. There's a 
a lot of highway left here. So just uh, come to the rink positive and work hard, and uh, we'll get a bounce. This is a good stepping stone tonight for that. Yeah, no, I thought besides the, the odd mans we gave up, um, we'll clean up those. But other than that, I thought we played a solid game um, overall, and uh, yeah, it was close. Yeah, no, that was awesome. I mean, right after uh, God's goal, the boys had an ozone shift there, and you'd feel the momentum coming. Um, you know, that's awesome. We we feed, we feed off that, so uh, hopefully we, uh, they can keep that going. Coach, another one of those games you didn't get the results you wanted, but as part of the process, learning from the mistakes and building off the positives? That was a hard-fought game, no doubt about it. Um, you know, we... Threw a lot at him in the third period. Uh, every game, there's going to be some plays that you'd like to have back. That's the game of hockey. Uh, we made a couple of mistakes that we'd like to have back, but I, I did like the compete of our team, the care of our team. I thought that uh, early in the game, we fought the puck a little bit. Uh, pucks were uncharacteristically unchar bouncing off our stick, and I thought we turned over a couple pucks that... Uh, where the game started to get away from us and then we got it back on track. But it's a tough loss. What's the message you give to your team following that yeah. and now that you're, you're kind of mired in a bit of a losing streak? Yeah, stick with it. Like Sometimes when, you're, when you lose a couple games, uh, things really get magnified. And when you win a couple games, things also get magnified. And that's, we talked about that the other day in here, playing in a Canadian market. And... Uh, you know, I think that there's a little bit of carryover from years past of here we go again around here. And I think you can only worry about the present, not worry about the past. Control what's ahead of you, not you can't control what's behind you. And our group still has to learn that. And I could feel it when it got to 2 nothing tonight that it was a little, there's a little bit of, oh boy, we're in trouble now. And we've got to learn to play from behind and not be a team that either panics or starts to take high risk. Just keep playing. And, and in the third, we did that, but we still made a couple risky mistakes that we didn't need to make. And, you know, that might have cost us at the end, but it's a work in progress with our group. Uh, you know, you hate to lose. It burns you as a coach, as, a, as players. But it's also my job to make sure that we give them honest assessments so the load and the pressure doesn't uh, start to be more than it really is. Steve kind of talked about that yesterday. Yeah. Is it only natural when guys, maybe the guys who've been here, have been through what they've been through that they're going to press? <laughs> A little bit. Uh, you know, and, and again, like when you play in an area where everyone wants to win so bad they can they can feel it and, and taste it. Well, the players are the same way. So are we. And, you know, learning to deal with that is, uh, it's not something that's just easy. It, you know, it takes resolve. You got to go through some tough times sometimes. And sometimes when you're not maybe playing, you know, I say maybe playing our best, but you know, we played a hell of a game in, against Philadelphia. We went into Carolina, played pretty good hot. We didn't love our Edmonton game. Come out tonight, you, know, you get 40 shots, 73 shot attempts. The other guy plays pretty good in net. Your go our goalie plays well, and you lose it by a goal. And if we had won two or three in a row right now, everyone would be like, ah, oh, they lost. Or, you know, you got your questions would probably be a little different too. Man, you played good, didn't win, you'll win the next one. And the reality is you play one game, you assess it, then you play the next game, get ready to play it, whether you win or lose. That's the way good teams play. They just play the same way every night, and then they win more than they lose. And that's what we're trying to get to. What can you do as a media coach to prepare your team to maybe take yeah, talk, of the pressure off? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that comes back to, you know, how do you improve players? You're honest with them. You, you talk through things. And I think right now we are talking through not necessarily uh, – the physical part of our game more than the, the mental part of our game right now because I could see it almost as clear as day today when it got to 2 nothing on the bench where our team got into that mode again and 
in between the second and third, we talked about it. And, you know, it doesn't mean you stop playing. You play harder, but you don't have panic in your game. You sense that. Panic. That's not the right word either. Poise. When you, when you sense that at 2 nothing, is that like a body language thing? Does the chatter start to... Yeah, you can just feel it. You know, I, I, I don't know. You, tonight I could feel it a little bit. And, uh, you know, again, good teams get down two a lot of nights and they come back. And tonight was a good night for our team in the third. I thought we did reel it in, played a hell of a third period. Uh, their guy made some big saves down the stretch and, and you lose a game. But, again, you learn from it. And whether we won, whether we played good, whether we played we got to come back and play again the next night, and you've got to be a consistent uh, player individually and team. How different a challenge is it when you're dealing more with the mental side of with, with your players versus, let's say, breakdowns of your, your well, players? Just, I think it's just part of coaching, to, to be honest, and coaching uh, younger teams or team, you know, middle, whatever you want to call the age of our group. Um, and that's, that's a big part of coaching is that part of it. You, teach the physical X's and O's, but you also, how do you think the game, situational awareness, certain moments uh, when you're winning and when you're losing, especially teams that haven't quite got there yet. Adam yeah, Goodett seems to rise to the occasion when there's a certain moment. Yeah, I sure did. He got, he got a big goal tonight and he almost pulled the trigger a couple times later. The player behind putting Grady in the third line. And with who? Grady Kachak. With, with what line? You put him in the third line, I guess, in there. I'm not sure what line. I don't really have a. I wouldn't consider any line that I put Brady on at the third line. I would consider that one of our top lines. Adam, good a question. Uh, late in the game, you had him on a line with Kachuk and Pinto. Is that something you might consider moving forward? Like you've been talking about five on five offense this morning. Is that something yeah, I've done that when we've been down. Put guards up on other lines, and uh, you know. I'll you know, we're trying to find some offense in that top nine. Maybe that's something we'll think about. We talked about it briefly after the game. Um, so, yeah, we're looking at all options. How did you like your team's ability to maybe generate offense in this game? Graham asked you about that. Really yeah, we did. We, we, we had some good – and that's a great – you know, they're a very good defending team, a uh, team that knows how to win. You, talk, you know, it's obvious to everyone. they got some big defensemen. It's hard to get inside. Uh, you know, we created a lot. Uh, and their goalie played well. Okay, guys.